Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Alif Hakimi bin Dihilmi from Group 3. Our group member consists of five people which is Muhammad Uwais bin Zainuddin, Zarin binti Makasri, Nur Khalifa Amira binti Baharu, and lastly, Nur Safiza binti Isa. So for our e-pitching business idea, we decide to choose Tumblr with a vacuum technology. In choosing this product, we know that the Tumblr might not related to technopreneurship. But with the vacuum technology that we bring with the tumbler, it giving the product related to our focus. Due to our current weather in Malaysia, we hardly can maintain the coolness of ice cream. So with the come out of our product, it can keep the ice cream for almost 24 hours. So we go for the first part which is vision and value proposition. Our vision is to be the leading technology retail company by consistently providing the local opportunity growth and impact in every community and country around the world. Right next, we go to the value proposition. We come up with three value of proposition. Firstly, quality oriented. We focus in strict quality supervision, optimizing the quality system and providing quality assurance. Uh, and the secondly, good service. We always strive to provide our customers which as much as added value as possible. And lastly, reputation first. And here we stick to the principle of honesty and trustworthiness, heavy commitment, do practical things and keep our promise. So our problem statement is our society problem is hardly maintain cold water for a long period of time. The solution for now is to keep it in the ice box but it's not so portable and convenient due, due to we need to buy an extra ice to keep it cold. Uh, secondly, to save the environment. Nowadays, our plastic waste is increasing day by day and as for the time being, we use recycled plastic to make our new plastic so there is no solution in reducing our plastic waste. And thirdly, Malaysian uh, meteorological condition. As we know, Malaysia is a hot country and got average high temperature. Thus, we need to seek alternative to keep our cold drinks. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad West bin Zaiduddin, class AC20, group 3. And today I would like to explain about our target market of our product. There's the three points uh, that I would like to discuss about our target market. Firstly, market segmentation. Secondly, market targeting. And lastly, market positioning. So first, market segmentation. For age range, we will market to the college age 18 to 24 years old up to the middle age 40 to 50 middle class Malaysian. We think that this age range offers us a lot of flexibility with which we could customize our marketing strategies. Aside from range, we are marketing our product based on income level and geographic areas. Not everyone fits in the middle class coffee drinking profile and we are okay with that. And for starting up, we, will, we want to focus on selling our product to lower middle class income levels in order to have strong initial product, strong initial market penetration. So ge geographically speaking, we will focus on major areas where many middle class Malaysians reside to maximize our penetration. This will include both major city and big suburbs say a population of 30,000 and uh, to 1 million people. Next, for market targeting, uh, the middle aged coffee drinker who either as a home brewing unit or takes daily trips to a coffee shop will be our primary target. And the middle aged consumer is our target because they will see the value in the product that can make their daily routine easier. With our product, cleaning out their coffee cup right when they got to work or get back home is as easy as two twists and the rinse out. This will be fit the lifestyle of middle aged Malaysian who makes coffee part of their daily routine and does not want to waste time cleaning out their traditional style mug. And lastly, for our market positioning, we will try to partner with a local coffee shops and sell our product in their shops to further our brand awareness and positioning. So the most common customers at coffee shops are, as, are young urban adults ranging from 18 to 45 years old. We will market ourselves as a fun, hip, convenient brand 
that is environmentally friendly and minimize the use of disposable cups. This will fit well with the coffee shop business plan that promotes eco-friendly behaviors. That's all from me. Thank you. Our product is the thermos tumble. This thermos is mainly a high vacuum heat breaking technology, which is the double layer stainless steel structure is the used in the bottle, and the air between the inner layer and outer layer of stainless steel is pumped out to achieve the vacuum state. There is a mirror function inside, which is emit heat energy into the bottle to maintain the temperature inside the bottle so it can withstand the water for 12 hours. This thermos tumbler can provide convenience to customer because this thermos can keep the water cool and hot for a long time and is also handy to carry in place such as to the office or when traveling. In addition, the thermos tumbler is equipped with white lid design. The design can let our customer clean the thermos cup more easier. Moreover, our thermos tumbler comes in a variety of color, and for each straw, tumbler comes with a straw. And also, our thermos tumbler has two sizes, which is 300 ml and 890 ml. Our thermos tumbler is food grade material. Our product uses food grade material to manufacture all of the material to withstand with high temperature. It may ensure the health of our customers. Most important, our product is made of 304 stainless steel to ensure the safety of our customers. Based on the problem statement, we have found the solution how to maintain cool water for a long time period, which this customer must always close the bottle cup after using it to guarantee that the heat in the thermos does not dissipate and the water remains cool for a extended period of time. This is due to the vacuum water thermos insulted stainless steel structure, which can control heat conduction, convert this heat and heat radiation to reach the goal of heat preservation, also cool preservation and freshness preservation. Second is to save environment. With using this thermos tumbler, we can minimize environmental pollution by utilizing this thermos tumbler in our daily life. Since it can reduce the use of plastic and we can also safeguard the habitat of animals such as turtle. Lastly is Malaysian meteorological condition. As we all know, Malaysia is a hot country with high temperature. We will always want to drink something cool in hot weather condition, right? So, this thermos tumble can keep the water cool for a long time period. I'm Khalifa Amira Binti Baharum and I'm going to explain in financial part. Uh, as we start up business, we decided to make it home-based business to reduce other costs. And our estimation cost and capital for our business is 2100 and it consists of product which is 1800 and advertising and marketing cost 300 and the total is uh, 2100 and next i'm going to talk about revenue stream of our business we adopted the transaction based business which was seed or revenue from the sale of the product that usually one time customer payment so first of all for our first batch of uh, business we plan to release 100 unit of the thermos tumbler which is cost uh, 30 ringgit per unit and it make the total re our revenue is 3000 as for the profit margin, the cost per unit of the thermos tumbler is 80 ringgit and assuming we sold off our 100 unit of it, we could generate 3000 in sale and with the selling price of the thermos tumbler at 30 ringgit. Hence, it make a uh, of 700 of profit. As the profit margin calculated, we receive 30% of the net profit margin. And uh, for the break even point is calculated per unit. Our fixed cost in our business is uh, advertising and marketing cost which is a uh, cost uh, RM300 ringgit and for our variable cost per unit is 18 ringgit and it make uh, our BEP is 25 unit and it shown in the calculation here. For the next is a uh, contingency plan for our race and we have three issues which is the broken product. The possibility of broken product is medium 
and if it happen, we will make a details quality check on while receiving the items and the products. Uh, next is a uh, competitive. In possibility of competitive is medium, and if it happen, uh, we are gonna offer a best price and service to and enhancing our advertising to the customer, and we also will substitute our product or find other and alternative. And lastly is the customer bad feedback, and the possibility is low, and if it happen. We're going to improve our service and offer a better service for him or her. And next, if uh, it because of the product, we're going to give him uh, or her return or refund or give another unit of the product. Hi, right now is the part where I will present to you that you as a potential investor want to hear the use of our funds. In this business, we have divided our funds into four users which we are going to use 40% of the fund for, for the product development. This will include the raw material and also research and development. 10% of the funds will be used for the contingency plans, 5% for the advertising and marketing. The percentage is quite low, that's because we only use social media to, pro to promoting our product. And the rest of the fund will be used for operation and hiring, which is 45%. From that, we're going to wrap our presentation. I hope you enjoy it and we pledge to grow this business to the best that we could and utilize all the resources that we have. We will not waste the trust that you put on our business and we will make sure your investment will worth it. Thank you.